Sorry. No luck, huh? Understatement of this century. Hungry? I'm okay. Well, it doesn't mean you're not hungry. Here. I had enough. It's turkey, so... So... Uh, you know, just in case you're... I'm what? Uh, just in case you're part bird, uh, I wouldn't want to be responsible for any uh, unintentional cannibalism. Ah, uh, very thoughtful. I try. Take a load off. Whoa. Slow down. You don't want to get sick. Turkey's dead. It's not going anywhere. <laughs> Morgan. Hey, Riley. There you are. Thanks. Wouldn't want you to think I'm a bad host. <laughs> Your reputation is safe. I like what you've done with the place. Oh, well, thanks. Oh, well, getting an ocean installed in a living room is expensive as hell. But I think it was worth it. The sand's a nice touch. Gives the place a certain grainy ambiance. Doesn't it, though? So, uh, how long have you been calling this place home? <laughs> what? Oh, uh, it's not as easy a question to answer as you'd think. Uh, but what are you doing here? You don't... What? I don't what? Uh, you don't... You look new to homelessness. Yeah. My parents kicked me out six days ago. Well, and let me be the first to welcome you to the community. Well, normally we have a ceremony for people when they join, but the cake's on back order. A sandwich works fine, thanks. Um, piece of advice though, uh, maybe don't be so free with telling people stuff like that. Like what? Uh, that you were just kicked out only last week. You asked. Well, doesn't mean you should answer. I... <laughs> Thanks. There's a set of instructions, you know. Funny. No, really. They're not written down, but... Uh, it's something we try to pass along to the new members. Let me guess. Step one, find shelter. Step two, find food. Rinse and repeat. No, they're not instructions for being homeless. Uh, for the other thing. What other thing? Uh, getting kicked out. The same thing. No, it really isn't. Feels like the same thing. Well, it's all still pretty fresh. And probably pretty hard to tell one thing from another right now. You talk like you know what happened. You don't. Oh, I can make some educated guesses, uh, but it doesn't really matter. Uh, your parents reached a tipping point. Uh, they told you to get out. You want to know what happened? I'm glad to listen if you want to talk about it. I came out to them. That night, there was a suitcase waiting for me at the door. Tipping point. What does that even mean? Well, it means your parents went from uh, living in a charade where they could uh, pretend that everything was okay, or at least tolerable, and then something happened and suddenly they couldn't pretend anymore. The truth came out. The truth about my sexuality. Oh, the truth that uh, you that you are 
is not the you that they insisted you were. That uh, they wanted you to be. Maybe that they needed you to be. So you're saying I shouldn't have said, told them? No, I'm not saying that at all. Uh, if you didn't say anything, uh, yeah, maybe they could have, you could have stayed longer. Uh, but what would be the point? It's not likely they would uh, wake up one day suddenly able to handle something they couldn't the night before. So you live a lie for, uh, what, uh, another few months? Maybe another few years? Uh, but it's a crappy trade. Living a lie for the illusion of being accepted in some awful, uh, ironic, uh, painful way. Uh, it's probably better to learn that now, once and for all. And most people live lies their whole life, making friends by pretending to be what they think other people want, never finding the courage to just be themselves. Thick culture. No argument there. Somehow this feels worse. Probably because it is. You lost a hell of a lot more uh, than a friend or two. Truth is, uh, no matter what you think, uh, you're never ready. To be homeless? No, not homeless. Uh, you can prepare for that. Uh, you're never ready to be rejected. Or maybe better said, uh, to face that rejection. How can anyone get ready for that kind of thing? I don't know. You can't. All you can do is follow the instructions. And they'll make everything all right? No, uh, they're just instructions. Uh, you're the one who will make everything all right. So, tell me these magical instructions. Uh, hang on. Here. Chocolate? This helps make sense out of them or something? Uh, I don't know. Maybe. But that's how it went when I was taught them. Seems like a good tradition. Step one. Understand that there's a lot more than just one issue going on right now. It all feels like this big, I was kicked out mess. But there's a ton of things all knotted together here. People you trusted are questioning your judgment. Maybe even your sanity. Uh, people you love have told you, in one way or another, uh, that they don't love you back. Oh, and of course, on top of everything, you, you have no place to stay, no food to eat, no safety net for all the other crap that life throws at you. You need to recognize that it's a lot and that It'll take time to deal with all the different pieces. And uh, it's going to... It isn't going to be all resolved next month. Be patient with yourself. And step two. Deal with the immediate need. Well, this is the obvious one that you already guessed. Uh, you have to sleep. You have to eat. If you can't do those, you can't handle anything else. And the rest is really important. But fortunately, you're also going to find out uh, pretty quickly uh, that a lot of stuff you thought you needed, uh, not so much. 
you can survive on a lot less than you think. Trust me. Morgan, honestly, I'm... I'm running a little low on trust right at the moment. Yeah. I bet. But that's what makes it more of a leap of faith than a roll of the dice. I'm a little low on faith, too. Anyway, step three. Understand why you want to go back. I assure you I don't want to go back. And I assure you, part of you does. All that fury you're feeling right now, it's the eternal conflict that makes it burn so hot. Part of you wants to go back, and another part is hating yourself for feeling that way. But you can lie to me about it all you want, but you have to come to grips with it within yourself. Easier said than done. Well, nothing about any of this is easy. Six days, uh, so you've definitely figured that out by now. But it'll get easier. And then you need to start looking at things from a new angle. That's what Bobby said to me when I was the one he <laughs> eating the chocolate. She said, uh, you know how people say home is where the heart is? Most think that means that your home is where you find your heart. Where you grew up, where your family lives, all the things you love from your past. And maybe that works for some people. Maybe. But you, you Riley, you need to flip that around now. Your home isn't uh, where you're going to find your heart anymore. That place is just going to hold pain. Instead, you need to put your heart somewhere else. Uh, it can be a place, like this beach is for me. But it doesn't have to be. It can be a person, an ideal, a purpose, whatever's right for you. And wherever you put your heart, that's going to be your home from now on. How do you know where to put it? Different for everyone. Only you can decide that. Uh, when you're ready. So, um, uh, that's it? The whole thing? three-step program? No. Four steps. The first three are only there to get you ready for the fourth. Okay. Step three was understand why you want to go back. That's really important. You can't deny the desire. You need to understand it in order to deal with the fourth and final step, which is this. Understand that there's no such thing as going back, ever, for anyone, in any situation. I don't believe that! No, I, I can't accept that! I, I won't just say, oh well, fuck my parents and my whole lifetime to move on! No! That's not what I'm saying. Not at all. It just sounded that way. Okay, let me try it this different way. You ever play those old computer adventure games where you go around doing stuff and you make these choices? Attack the troll or try to talk your way past it to uh, go across the bridge? I suppose some. And if you were like me, you saved the game before you made the choice so you could uh, reload it and try the other option in case you picked wrong. Maybe. Of course you did. Everyone does. 
We want life to be like that. We want to believe we can find a way back to where we were so we can fix the mistakes, correct the wrongs. But it can't happen. There's no saved game in real life. Uh, every instant of every day, you change. Everyone changes. With every new life experience, you become a different person. Even if tomorrow you wake up and, like in that Groundhog movie, you, you find it's a week ago, it still wouldn't be the same. Because you're different. Even if you hadn't told them, uh, could you ever really see your parents the same way again? The way you saw them a week ago, when you weren't sure how they would react? No, uh, I, uh, no. Well, fact is, uh, everyone is changing. Every day. Every moment. Well, it sucks. It is what it is. It sucks when you don't like how things go, and it's great when things make you happy. Here's how Bobby explained it to me. Imagine that you broke your arm. It's probably going to heal. But even if it does, you still broke your arm. Maybe the knitted bone will be weaker than it used to be. Maybe it'll be stronger. But even if it knits to be exactly the same as it was before, you still broke your arm. And you know it. You have changed. Whatever you did to break it, you probably won't do that again the next time, right? The thing is, Riley, we only grow forward in time. Grow forward. Interesting way to put it. Most people who uh, suffer trauma think that the goal is to get back to where they were before the trauma happened. That, that just isn't possible. If you spend your life trying to swim upstream, all you're going to do is stagnate. You are where you are. Now, today, this moment, and you need to realize that the question isn't how to get back to where you were, to what you were. The question is, where do you go from here? From where you are? From who you are now? Food, shelter. For the moment. But ultimately, the answer is home. Wherever you decide to put your heart. And uh, if I don't want to lose my family? Anything's possible. Maybe as you move forward, you'll find a chance to build new relationships with your parents. Maybe not. Depends on what kind of people they are and what you want to invest in. But it won't ever be the same. And honestly, yeah, that's probably for the best. That's uh, a lot to remember. Well, if you ever need a reminder, or a half a sandwich, you know where I'll be. Right. Thanks, uh, for... Really. Thanks. Wish I had something to give you in return for... Nah, that's not how it works. 
All the important stuff lies ahead. Focus there. Oh, yeah. I will. <laughs> 